we've got um, some really great people all over the country, and one of them has agreed to join us today. Eric Flowers, are you there? Eric and Lily are a couple from Houston, Texas. And in fact, Eric, tell them a little bit about yourself. Um, um, my name is Eric Cooper. I grew up in, in Texas, so I um, worked in the energy industry for a long time. And my wife as well. So uh, I met her in the energy industry. We shared the same office, office building, similar to one like I'm in today. And so uh, basically we've been working in the corporate world for a while and it's got its ups and downs, you know, uh, nothing's guaranteed these days. And so we're looking for our plan B or, you know, our active retirement, what we'd like to do. And so we're very blessed to uh, run into Lou and um, came into Lou's world a little bit over a year ago. And so it's dramatically changed our lives and we feel forever thankful and blessed. Uh, for meeting Lou and, and the, his whole team. So Eric, this is, this is a great uh, opportunity to inspire a lot of people because you still have a full-time plus job, right? Mm, that is correct. I'm basically on break. I'm in the office building now. And so I've got a full-time job. that's very demanding. It's very demanding. What do you do there? I do project development. So right now we're in a, a $500 million piece of class A real estate. And so my job is to bring in new projects and development growth to contribute to the bottom line. So wow. the IRs, the EBITDAs, everything you see on the corporate, uh, you know, 500 um, accounting statements, investor statements, I have a direct uh, contribution towards. And, and Eric, you kind of realize that when you're in somebody else's world, helping them to become millionaires and billionaires, uh, that that might not have a future for you, huh? Yes, it, that, that's true. And, um, you know, we all have this perception that, you know, when I was growing up, our parents told us, hey, if you go to work for a company, take care of the company and they'll take care of you. And that may have been true 30 or 40 years ago. But about the time I was going through it, you know, they were telling us, hey, be prepared to change jobs every three to five years because nothing's guaranteed. And that was a shock. I thought, what? I didn't expect that at all. But whenever I was reading, you know, contract language and learned about at will employment, the, the two week notice is a perception. The, the legal language reads at will employment. They can terminate for any reason or no reason at all at any time. <laughs> And you go, wait a minute, what kind, of, what kind of guarantees come with this program? And they said none, huh? <laughs> exactly, none. And so um, just looking, you know, looking at finance, people want to retire, you know, counting on Social Security to make ends meet, fixed income as they get older. I thought there's got to be a better way. And so I was looking for that better way and I met you. Well, I tell you, it's so exciting to help you build the amazing business that you and Lily are building there in uh, Houston, Texas. And, you know, tell us about uh, what your business looks like today versus what it looked like when you first got started with us a, a little over a year ago. Okay. Well, you know, basically I'm a certified affordable housing provider. I still have my full-time job. The business runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A lot of people will say, how can you do that? Well, I said the business runs 24-7. I didn't say I run or my wife runs 24-7, right? So we do our part as time permits, you know, during the day, nights, weekends, and we, we plug into it, but it's very much a system. So Sunday, I take off with very few, you know, low-key activities on Sunday and basically make sure we have that family day and time to recharge. And so... Um, that's basically, you know, the structure of our business and how it runs. But some of the amazing things we've been able to do is grow this business a little bit over a year. We're currently a, a Better Business Bureau, A plus, gold star rated, five star rated, may I add. And um, <laughs> we're, we're heavily networked into the uh, community. And so it's just a great feeling to be able to help folks um, all different you know walks of life so just some of the examples of the people we've helped we've helped veterans uh cfos housewives retirees 
young couples, single moms, grandparents, pastors, nurses, construction foremen, teachers, small business owners, and tired landlords. Wow, that's amazing. You're changing a whole lot of different people's lives. That's a good thing. So you've been able to embrace the concept of doing good while doing well. You've embraced the concept of the path to home ownership, where you're helping deserving families, just like you were describing, to end up with home ownership. Uh, tell us one of your stories. Gosh, there's so many. It's really hard to, to you know, single one out. But um, I look at one example, you know, helping deserving families out, helping people out. Um, we actually helped the seller out. He was a, a retired veteran, served in the military about 30 years. Um, his house was requiring get up on ladders and elevation and do all these things. And, and he was really just tired of it. He didn't want to do that. So we stepped in, we helped him out. Uh, he was very happy, you know, with the arrangement we had. And we were basically able to take over that house. And so um, we took that house, turned it around and ended up helping a uh, deserving family, actually three generations, because it had the grandparents, the parents, and the children, wanted a home, a uh, good school district, and, and by the time we were done, it was completely renovated. And so they, they were pleased. So we were able to help, you know, two families in, really in that one, one property. Wow, wow. So what did the numbers look like on that deal? What was your purchase price and what were you able to sell it for? Um, uh, the numbers on that were pretty good. You know, um, purchase price was 110000 yeah. We went in there and we did some light rehab. Yeah. And the sales price on that was, was 170000 And so both the buyer and the seller were happy. And, you know, of course, we were happy as well. So it was a win-win for all. So you found a diamond in the rough. You found something that needed work. You were able to come in and put that uh, that that equity into the property by investing in doing the things that needed to be done. And the family loved it and they didn't mind the price at all because they could afford it. Right. Oh, that, that's correct. And you talk about doing good while doing well and, and kind of caveat to that is, is we had a brand new water heater in there. It was only two months old. The family moved in said, Hey, we're having problems with a hot water heater. Transaction was done, right? We're, we're everything was done. So at that point, you had a choice. You could walk away and say, well, it's not my problem. We've been done with the house for a while, right? But just thinking about doing the right thing and doing good and doing well, um, we went back and we looked at it. You know, I tried to troubleshoot. It didn't work. Called the plumber. And he said there's something faulty in the control valve. So we actually swapped it out, gave them a brand new water heater a week or two after closing just because it was the right thing to do. Wow. That's beautiful, man. And so what's the cash flow on that look like? Uh, how much are they paying you on a monthly basis? Actually, that, that cash flow, that was one that you had talked about in the example about the market being so hot. And so we had that in our inventory. We just went ahead and, and uh, liquidated that asset. Um, but we were able to pick up another asset around, around the corner. And so those numbers are really good on it, actually, because the... Uh, Numbers on that other property were able to help out two families. Uh, one family got impacted during the uh, one of our great hurricanes in uh, you know Texas, Louisiana, Gulf Coast. So we helped that family out. And we were able to help out a single mom. Um, she's a mother of five, and so she moved into that and not that long ago. But the cash flow on that is really good. It's got a positive cash flow of a little over eight hundred dollars a month. And $800 a month. That's, that's a beautiful thing. So you're taking advantage of the profit centers that we've got built into the program. I know there's 25 profit centers, so it's rare for somebody to be able to embrace all of those at one time, but uh, you're implementing those as well, huh? Oh yes, definitely. You know, you know, our involvement with, with ACN. So we're able to help people save money on, on essential services as well. And those are some great profit centers. And uh, yeah, we have the, the uh, credit restoration. All of our members are actively involved in that. We're helping them really kind of pump up their credit scores and get them much higher to open up the world of good credit to them. And so there's so many, um, it's just amazing. Wow. 
Well, Eric, you are a true inspiration. It's amazing what you've been able to do since you joined us. How many houses have you done in a little over a year uh, being with us? Ooh, I looked up and, and it's, uh, it's a total of, I think, 14. Um, some of them we, we've, you know, liquidated and other ones um, we have an inventory now. And so uh, it, it's just nonstop. It's, you know, nonstop. That's a nonstop. beautiful business, man. So you're going to get to that place where one of these days they're going to say, hey, Eric, you know, it's been fun and uh, we just don't need you here anymore. Hopefully you're going to get there first where you get to say it's been fun, but Hey, all this time I'm giving your company, I could actually be giving to my own company. And so that's, that's a goal that I have for you and a vision and a dream that I have for you in, you know, being able to change your and Lily's life and your family and uh, come into a whole, a whole new place of being uh, where you've got your own business, your own time but it's just amazing what you've been able to accomplish in this short period of time. So congratulations with that. Congratulations with the cash flow and all the things that are happening in your world. And thank you for being a certified affordable housing provider. Oh, thank you, Lou. We think it's such a blessing that you came into our lives. So thank you for all that you do and not only helping touch our lives, but so many other people's lives as well. Well, thank you, man. You're, you're amazing and keep up the great work. All right. Will do. Thanks, Lou. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Bye.